As we just said, it is St Patrick's Day on Friday and our next film is all about people coming together to celebrate. But not in a pub or at a parade. We're talking about somewhere much more scenic. Throughout spring and summer, an unusual tour takes visitors on a guided pilgrimage by land and water. It stops in on religious sites linked to St Patrick, from County Amar to County Down. The trips are led by two devout Catholics, Elaine and Martina. Elaine and I uh, landed in Downpatrick about three years ago. After arriving, they started their tours of the St Patrick's Way, a trail that winds through stunning countryside and is steeped in history. This whole opportunity really just fell from heaven after a lot of prayer. The journey attracts people from all walks of life. When we first started, we had no idea whether this would take off or not, but it's been exceptional. And we've had people coming from all over the globe. Today, hikers from across Northern Ireland are on the trip. Not being a religious person, it's very much about the outdoors and the, the environment and, and enjoying yourself. And it encompasses everybody being out in nature. The landscape is very picturesque. You can tell the geology and the ancient past. The group set off this morning from Inchabby in Downpatrick and are now approaching the Coyle River. Here, local canoe company owner John steps in to help. He's been impressed with the take-up of the tour. The local impact is, is fantastic. Everybody's a winner because people stay in the local hotels, they eat in the local restaurants, they stay in the B&Bs. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? You well? Not so bad, thank you. It's nice and sunny today, isn't it? It's just brilliant because it brings people in. Obviously, it brings employment for people within the area. For non-swimmers? This is for non-swimmers. No swimming today. If you swim today, you'll certainly know because it's certainly fresh. The Coyle River is traditionally believed to be the waterway on which St. Patrick first travelled into Ireland. And now it's the route for our modern day canoeists. The plan is, guys, we're going to put you into the boats, two in a boat, um, and we're going to go for a paddle. But not a swim. <laughs> but not a swim today. <laughs> our pilgrimage guides have made their own personal journeys to follow their vocations. Elaine was a Belfast barrister, and Martina, a political correspondent. I was about 20 years a journalist, covered the peace process, knew all the big players, had a great time. I loved, I loved the excitement of telling stories and, and being at a ringside seated history. But they both decided to step away from their jobs and pursue a spiritual life. And the surroundings here offer a more peaceful outlook. People come here, they're a little bit stressed by everyday life, and this becomes part of their pilgrimage. It's relaxing and you just start to take in the beauty. I've missed my calling in life. Backseat driver in a canoe. <laughs> As the river passes under roads, there are some cramped tunnels to navigate. Row, 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 for some, it's plain sailing on the other side. But for Elaine and her canoe partner, an unexpected trial awaits. With John on hand, they quickly back in the boat. This is the actual water that St. Patrick bathed in. So it's holy water. <laughs> Eventually, it's back onto dry land. You told me you could walk on water. I just discovered I can't. <laughs> the final part of the journey follows the route to Saul Church, the site where St. Patrick is said to have built his first place of worship. It's the end of a long day for the visitors. Sometimes you don't realise what's on your own doorstep and being on the roads and on the river, you know, you feel like one of the Vikings or St. Patrick coming here for the first time and you're really immersed in the landscape and the history. It's just phenomenal. Felt like you were connecting back to ancient people who had made that journey in the past. It's a great pilgrimage of finding yourself. Well, the scenery there Told is stunning, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, you can see why people from all...